Our 18 News reporter Ria Ja looked into what the impact of breaking up the southern tier would look like. New York has lost a congressional seat, and that puts the southern tier at risk of being split up. What we have uh, is uh, strong um, upstate cities along the thruway corridor uh, that dominate the population. And if those districts are ultimately drawn north and south, they could dissect the southern tier. Currently the 23rd congressional district, the southern tier holds rural counties with smaller populations that share many of the same interests because of that demographic likeness. The importance of that rural and character of that district, which can get lumped into an urban, suburban area. If it gets chopped up and each portion of the current 23rd district is just added into a district where the population is based on Buffalo or Rochester or Syracuse, well, then the issues that are of concern to the folks in Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse will get addressed, but the rural area is just going to be a small fraction of that and won't get the same attention. The integrity of the rural southern tier congressional district seems to be in the interest of most local officials. I was very pleased to hear from you know, representatives of Corning Community College, representatives of Corning Incorporated, representatives of the economic development community here in, in this region. And with one voice saying, hey, we need to have a district that's focused on rural areas in the Finger Lakes and in the southern tier. Uh, that, was, that wasn't partisan and it was refreshing. The redistricting commission is in the process of drawing their first draft of Senate and Assembly maps, which they will present for further public comment around mid-September. Reporting in Elmira, Ria Jaw, 18 News.